I've never really put goats as a dive site feature. Playa Lagoon is a small sandy beach tightly nestled between two towering cliffs that extend 400 feet to the sea. The landscape creates a nicely protected bay perfect for snorkeling, sunbathing, a water-based exercise class, swimming, and of course, diving. Sometimes you may even see a small herd of goats balancing spectacularly on the rock walls. Its minimal size and location far away from more densely populated tourist areas make this a nice quiet spot. If you're making the trek from Willemstad or other eastern Curacao locations, consider a two-tank dive and spend your surface interval at the Bahia Beach Bar, which offers a terrific aerial view of the lagoon. Before we jump into the site logistics, why not throw some positive energy into the universe? If you don't already, consider subscribing to the Tropic Lens channel. Other no-cost but great karma actions from you include liking, sharing, and or commenting on this video. Any of these actions would be greatly appreciated and provide us a bit of encouragement. Thanks! Smiley face. Playa Lagoon is located on the northwest side of Curaçao. Unlike Aruba or Bonaire, which generally have a main road traversing the island, Curaçao has quite a few roads that get you to different parts of the island. So directions for Curaçao dive sites will start from the closest main road, which should be easily found on any car rental company provided or downloadable map. For Playa Lagoon, we will start heading northwest from Willemstad on Wagnar Westpunt. Turn left on Kaminda Monica Capel Matthew and follow that road for 10 miles. The road changes names a few times, but it takes you right to Lagoon. When you see the orange Bahia Apartments and Diving Complex, turn left down the hill and find a place to park. The parking lot is large and starts as asphalt, but quickly erodes into a patchwork that includes dirt, gravel, and sand. There are a few trees for shade. If you don't come with your gear all set up, you have a few options here. You could use your vehicle, or there is a fairly nice cement pavilion with a short wall just behind the beach. We don't recommend leaving anything valuable out, but empty tubs are probably safe. The last and perhaps best option, if you come during business hours, is to use Bahia Diving. Located below Bahia Apartments, the dive center offers equipment rentals, a drying area, rinse tanks, a shower, bathrooms, and plenty of sturdy tables to set up your gear. They also have a full service dive shop. If you set up an account with them, you can get your own storage area to leave your gear and they even provide an externally accessible locked room where you can store your gear and rental tanks for an after hours night dive or an early morning dive before they open. Also. Please note this is not a sponsored video. We pay for everything ourselves. We happen to like the service at Bahia, and with the travel restrictions, dive shops in general are hurting. Consider this a shout out. Once you're geared up, head over to the beach and walk right in. The bottom slopes gently from the beach and is pretty flat in the lagoon, only reaching 15 feet at the mouth. Watch out for a sandy step a few feet in. It's kind of sudden and a bit mushy, which can trip you up going in or coming out with heavy gear. Navigating Playa Lagoon is very easy as it faces due west at 270 degrees. 90 degrees gets you back. 
there is a small marker buoy on the reef at 40 feet, straight out from the lagoon. The reef begins with small coral heads, about 100 feet beyond the lagoon. They gradually get bigger and more dense. Besides the reef itself, there are a few other notable highlights. The lagoon has large areas where rocks dominate the terrain, providing anchor points for coral, feeding grounds for fish, and shelter for juveniles. There is also a fair amount of debris and a few coral restoration trees. Oh, and we saw this very large school of silver sides on every dive. The lagoon does see some boat traffic between local fishermen and pleasure craft, so be careful near the surface. This large rocky mound in the middle of the lagoon has a large number of anemone, quite a few nimble spray crab, and a bird cage? Rocky slabs and boulders dot the bottom of the walls, creating lots of crevices and hiding places to check out. Whether you go north or south along the reef, you definitely want to circle back to the wall and give that a good portion of your air. If you swim south along the wall for 10 to 15 minutes, you'll come across a nice small cave. The entrances are between 5 and 15 feet, and there are usually a few interesting things to be found. There really isn't any drop-off per se, just a gentle slope. Here are some examples of the terrain and slope at 20 foot increments. The sandy shallows, coral reef, and rock walls provide an assortment of different habitats, which mean a wide variety of life can be seen throughout the Playa Lagoon ecosystems. Here are a few of our favorite clips to show you what might be swimming and living when you visit. We've made seven of these shore diving videos, and this is the first dive site with good night lighting. Well, any lighting really. These puppies are on all night, and not only provide a nice beacon, but make it much easier to walk back to your car. 
Here are a few of the fish and other animals we got to see after the sun went down. Enjoy!